What is up, all my investors of the Shaddai? I'm back again with another Shining's video breaking down the complex financial world that be having me like, woo! I'm here to break it down for everyday people like me and you so we can get to this bread, this move out, this cheddar. Today I'm talking about my new investing strategy, right? This is this is me, right? I'm not saying this is what you gotta do, but I'm gonna share my new investment strategy. Uh, but before I get there, I gotta show my appreciation to the people on the other side of this camera. Thank you, thank you very much for watching all my videos. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on the video. Comment below, tell me how you're feeling about the video. Tell me if you're against what I'm saying, if you're for anything. Say what's up, I appreciate it all. Now, when I first started investing over a year ago, and I think this may be helpful for you as well too, you know, learn from my mistakes. I looked at every single stock. I wanted to invest in everything. I wish I had all the money in the world so I can invest in every single stock. So when the ones that are green are up, I'm up. And when the other ones are up, I'm always up. I'm always up. You know, that's the fantasy, right? But it just doesn't work that way. It just does not work that way. You can't invest in everything and you can't pay attention to everything because then you will miss opportunities that are right in your face. This is through my experience that I've learned, right? So I've narrowed my uh vision i'm going to call it i've narrowed my stock investing vision to about 10 to 15 stocks i like to keep it under 10 when i'm over i'm always looking to trim or sell uh you know swing i'm always looking to swing who can i get rid of who's up right now that i can cash out on and reinvest somewhere double down somewhere else that's down right now uh average and down my pricing um, that's kind of a, that's kind of how I've been moving. I've been swinging and I'm still holding long term. Um, things are moving fast. I'm looking for new opportunities, but I'm also selling, uh, you know, taking quick, small gains. You know, uh, I don't like to share the percentage. You can, if you're interested in joining the discord investors group chat, shoot me a DM above. I will get you all the details. We could talk more about actual percentages that I'm looking at. Um, we can talk more about just my strategy more in depth if you're interested uh, in the in the Discord chat. Um, can't give y'all all the sauce here, right? YouTube hasn't started paying me yet, right? And you ain't even like this video. You ain't even comment if you did like. You ain't even share if you did comment and you did like. I'm making you feel guilty so you can do all the above. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this is a new investment strategy. is really kind of simple. It's more simplified for me. Um, stick to what you know. Find out more, uh, deep dive into what you already know, the stocks that you already been watching, deep dive into those, study them, monitor them, see how they move, see how they react to certain type of uh, information that comes out from the government, that comes out from platforms. Um, study those, learn them, and you may be able to predict some of their future moves. You may be able to predict, um, it's, and it's only a speculation, obviously, because none of us are genies. We all can't predict what's going to happen. But... Once you get to uh, learn someone's habits, you can make adjustments and make plays. You can make sales. You can make buys. You may be able to do options if you know what you're doing, right? So study, 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 due diligence, research, small group. If you're just starting out, I would, I would recommend pick five stocks. Don't do 15. Pick five stocks that you feel like you can understand, that you get that you fully understand. Uh, make sure you throw a little risky one in there just so you can see the signs of growth, what growth stocks do versus a value stock. Um, this also has to be a learning experience as well. Like you're just not going to get out there and just hit home runs. I mean, maybe some people do, but not everybody does. Not the majority of the people do. So use... If you're just getting into it, uh, and use your beginning investments as a learning experience. Take notes. Understand why you're making certain moves. Um, so yeah, my like I said, my strategy is very more simplified for me now. Um, I'm doubling down on my growth stocks. I'm looking for opportunities. I'm making. I'm selling when I need to. I'm buying when I need to. I'm staying active, but focusing on a smaller group of stocks so that I don't feel like I'm all over the place. Or when this new stock comes out, I'm not just jumping on it or trying to catch those gains because I'm, I'm focused on my group. 
on what we're doing over here. Where, where is the gains going to happen in my group? How can I predict that? Who needs to go? Who needs to be added so that there can be gains, right? Narrow your focus is, I guess, is what I'm really trying to say. Narrow your focus. And I feel like your strategy may get a little bit better. Um, but no guarantees all at the end of the day. Thank y'all for watching. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all in the next